Good day, peeps. So sorry, I was doing this pour and it was a big dip on a corrugated canvas. Um, and I started off and my camera was rolling. Everything was fine, but I've just come to look at it after I've poured all the paint onto the corrugated cardboard that I'm going to dip onto and the camera had stopped. So you might only be getting the very end piece of this um, piece of art that I'm doing today. So sorry about that, but I will certainly add something on to the video to make it worth watching. So if I add something else, but I don't, uh, I don't know what happened there. I don't know if my uh, I don't know what happened. Anyway, I'm going to get dipping and show you. This is dipping on corrugated cardboard. I've just laid all the leftover colours that I've had. Um, I put the uh, masking tape on the bottom of my canvas and my giant push pins. My supplier is on the bottom. You can get all of the products that I use if you're in Australia. Um, the US, Canada, I think everything is available if you do a search on Google. So, yeah, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know. I haven't checked to see if it even started at all. I just noticed when I've come to look at it before I put this canvas in, to, started dipping and it was stopped. So, um, chatting away for 15 minutes. So, that's all good. I just layered all of the paint in a chevron pattern. Um, I've done this one before, but the only difference I am actually doing this dip on a big um, piece of corrugated uh, cardboard that I had left over from packing. So, and I'm just, um, it actually feels nice actually to dip on this because it's a soft surface underneath. I think you've all seen my dips I've got lots of dips there. I've dipped on um, scrunched up aluminium foil. I've dipped on um, bubble wrap. I dip on all sorts. So I'm hoping this corrugated card comes out a winner winner chicken dinner. So I'm just pressing so to make sure that all of my canvas gets uh, covered. If it doesn't, it's quite easy. I use a balloon. So let's do it do it okay maybe i should have put i'll go okay keep keep it keep it keep it keep it wow wowzers wowzers well there you go there you go peeps plenty in there and it will continue developing just pop this down here <laughs> Um, because I will do a few more dips with smaller canvases in my reserves. I have got an area, just one little area there in my canvas that didn't get covered. So what I'll do is I'll use my tiny water balloon, just dip it in some of the paint and then dip it where it missed. Perfect. Perfecto. So I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to just concentrate on getting some smaller canvases done so as I can basically use a lot of this I mean my cardboard is obviously going to turn out quite nicely too so I will just keep going with it dip some smaller one I need a I'll put a tray I'm just going to put one of the baking trays so I can flip the canvases straight over onto a baking tray um, yeah, I'm going to have a really pretty piece of cardboard, aren't I? It's going to be a real nice one. Now I'll keep checking my video to see if it's still going. Cray is so upset with that. I don't know. don't know. These technical things keep challenging me. But okay, I'll go over here. Might put two in at once, hey? So I've got two of the uh, 25, 20 by 25 canvases. And I should have pushed push pins into them, um, but I didn't. So we just go with it. Just go with it. Thank you again, you guys, for joining me. Thank you for everybody that subscribed to my channel. I am 
really absolutely appreciative of you all and I thank you so if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to please do so and hit the subscribe button and the notifications if you want to be notified when the next exciting episode in this art journey um, gets uploaded onto YouTube so I think everybody can do a dip painting they are really quite simple but oh so effective with the end results like I said if there's anywhere on your canvas that remains untouched you can do what I did previous oh whoopee do look at that looky 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 that's a gorgeous one too that's beautiful okay next one Oh, that's a whole different, whole different look again, isn't it? Wow, is this excellent? They're going really well. Now I'm trying to find things. Oh, what can I use? What can I use? Okay, I might have some more of those small canvases. Yeah, I'll do one more. So I'm going to use the uh, 20 by 25. I'll go over here where there's a nice fair bit of paint left. So it's just gently pressing it, spreading your paint around. And like every single one looks different. I mean, you know, you're doing the same process, but no two look the same. So I might lift this one up and actually put it over there and see if I either muddy the process up or, or it looks okay. So just give you guys. Okay, lift it, lift it, lift it. Oh. No, I'm not going to put that one over there now because that's covered quite nicely. Um, again, anywhere, I just dip, dip. This is my tiny little water balloon that I've got a bit of water in. Um, if the balloon, you can put balloon dips in it. I just add another little bit of con uh, interest in there. But every one of those, so how many paints so I've got four pieces of art for one process it was fun to do even though you missed half of it unless I miraculously have some of the video on there but it was all dipped in my chevron patterns that I've done before um, which I love doing so they're really good I will find other things to dip in this paint um, just gonna have Let's see, I've got one little, I was going to do a whole different video with these. I had three little bamboo, they're just little bamboo chopping boards or, or serving boards that you could serve an entree or something on. And I wanted to just do a corner of them with something on it and then resin just the corner. So I might actually try just a few balloon dips. Kisses, not sure if it's going to work, so... Uh, can't do it right in front of you I can always always um, wash this off if it's not what I want so you can nothing is set in concrete just start again if it's not what you want so my idea on these boards was to just do one corner um, and then cover that with resin so if you did put food on the bamboo it didn't matter but you've just got that nice contrast I wanted more a bit of yellow in there and it, it's not coming out exactly but that's pretty no I'm not going to do any more in that one I'm going to leave that but I will do a video just on doing these little food boards because uh, yeah you buy three uh, this was Kmart in Australia they're three bamboo uh, food serving you know you could put a bit of cheese on them or I know that a lot of people now instead of using plates uh, putting like a nice fancy entree or a fancy dessert on an open serving platter so I was just going to resin the very end there so just a little bit of difference I will keep working with that see how they come out 
But again, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. And I hope that you enjoy my videos um, and get something, some knowledge out of your the whole process. I will put videos on the, the end of this, of each and every one, and how they turned out. Um, love to hear what you guys think. If you've got some to show me and you'd like to come across to my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page, we've got a little, um, uh, well, we've started up another acrylic pouring group with the other 20 million pouring groups, but people love to show me what they've done, especially if they've done, emulated something that I've, I've done uh, on video, you know, you all like to show me, so I just thought that would be a really good place to... Um, put your pores that you want to show me just quickly go through the ones that I've done so can you see this gorgeous 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 that one um, we have another one I might give them teeny tiny balloon embellishments as they dry if any of those little areas that there where you see little holes I will um, embellish with tiny balloons so the finished product will be on at the end of this video um, this is the big one and I am definitely going to do some balloon embellishment on it so not sure if I can quickly show you the embellishment that I will do I might got this little teeny tiny balloon I just filled with water so that's a really good little tool to keep now I'll just try with the bigger balloon just do some little embellishments look ooh it's very nice just here and there to throw in some jillification Jillification, that's it. You all know that I have very hard difficulty not using the balloon because I love my balloon work and I'm doing all sorts of different things with balloons and hoping to do a few videos on different balloon techniques with different kinds of uh, products. So hopefully look out for those. Just... This is quite, this is fun to do. And look at the gorgeous effects that come through. Really beautiful. It's a stunner, stunner, stunner. I love it. And that's all that matters. You love what you're doing and it's giving you pleasure and you feel at peace with it. Then that's all that matters nobody else's opinion matters it's what you think and don't be overly critical of yourself which we all can be I love that I love it probably only criticism that I'm feeling that I may have added too much black but I, I think it's quite striking against the other colors so it's a winner winner chicken dinner okay you guys thank you again and I'll talk to you soon Stay safe. Bye for now. Just a little video of the um, dried piece. It's absolutely dry, so beautiful, vibrant. Um, I'll leave it to dry off, obviously, for uh, another week or so before I give it a coat of the um, pouring resin that I've done before. And those colours will even or will pop even further but it's dried beautifully it's all stayed in place 
a gorgeous little paw. Gorgeous little paw. Look at those cells. Stunning. Stunning. That was with the uh, Montmartre Clear Craft Glue and Montmartre Paints. Beautiful. Just a quick video to show you how my big, 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 big canvas that I did yesterday uh, as a commission pour is turning out. It's obviously not dry. It's dry around the very edges, but it's not dry, but it is drying beautifully and I'm really happy with it. I did work on it for quite a while after I finished filming, um, just adding uh, more embellishments because I know that my purchaser um, would rather have cells that are made into flowers than just cells so I was trying to add a lot more detail and there's just so much in this piece I mean it's really it is really gorgeous I'm very happy with it so I'm just absolutely sure that my client will be really happy because it's it's just gorgeous yeah it's just so full of life you could pick up so many things in it it's really lovely yeah. uh, stretching it out it's gorgeous 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 so I'll just leave it here for another day on the paint desk and then I will um, move it to my drying rack. Just didn't want to move it at all just yet. Um, but it just means when you've got such a big piece drying that I can't use my table to do any more. But yeah, it's lovely. Look at it. It's got, yeah, it's just very whimsical fantasy garden. Just taking this one last bit up this side. Okay, if you haven't seen the video, the link will be at the bottom of this um, post. So have a little squizzy how it all took place. Thank you.